I'm here with the cast of Midnight Texas, the TV Lines Comic Con interview suite. Welcome! Yay! Yay. Um, <coughs> season two was not an easy get. It, we had to wait a long time. Were any of you guys sweating? Like, like what's going to happen? All good things come to those <laughs> yes. okay. We knew. We knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Sure. You're a little bit into season two, right? A couple of episodes under your belt here. You have some very exciting news. You have new people coming in. Yeah. Um, I love that first season was like Cole Kennard, the demon, was the big bad, and now it's Taurus <laughs> coming in and ruining <laughs> life, right? Taurus. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tom, someone from Florida. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about um, Kai and uh, Patience, is that her name? Mm -hmm. um, Nestor Carbonell and Jamie Ray Newman coming Yay. in. Yay. Yeah, so exciting. And taking over the hotel, what is that going to mean for for the Midnighters? What's that going to mean for our group? Well, they're encroaching on Fiji's territory <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, with their crystals and stuff, and oh. yeah, they're getting in powers. May yeah. she not be a little less tranquil than normal because of that? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's I a good way of putting it. Fiji, <laughs> Fiji's really sweet, but she's also got a little bit of a petty streak. So I think <laughs> that you might see a little of that. But uh -huh. per Francois, they won't last long because of the ghost. So yeah. we'll see oh, what happens. Oh. Ghosts Jeez. might just help us get rid of them. Yeah. That's cool. Um, if only the resident medium weren't bleeding from the ears all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that only they were and bleeding nose and eyes. Blood, oh. and not black goo. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah that's right. true. So, How so, does that stuff taste? Uh, it's really sweet and minty, actually. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Minty? It's minty. Yeah. We're gonna gargle with it. <laughs> How's he doing as we come back into season two? He's you know slightly more <laughs> troubled than, than usual. Um, I mean, not great. He has a <laughs> demonic <laughs> cancer, <laughs> to put it lightly. Okay. Are we allowed to say that? No? Oh, what are we allowed to say I then? <laughs> I mean. well, okay, so let's table that for a second. Um, he was he and Creek had kind of just gotten together at the end of last season and cemented it. Um, Sarah Ramos is not a series regular this season, but I know she's going to be around. The, yeah, she's so, around. so what does that relationship look like? Manfred's coming to terms with the fact that Creek maybe deserves better than Midnight. Uh, I mean, as a... Well, or, different. No, no, she has more. Um, Are you and, deflecting and, off of your own character? <laughs> like, maybe deserves better than Manfred. <laughs> I think she has higher hopes for herself than just being a waitress in a small town, and mm -hmm. I think she wants to pursue. Um, studies mm -hmm. and uh, literature studies because mm -hmm. <laughs> then she has to become Charlene Harris and write Midnight Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> well, it may be possibly a place where she's not constantly in threat for her mortal life. Oh. Hey. I mean, that's yeah. setting the bar really high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There was kind of a band-aid stuck on all the, the cracks in the town, right? Like, mm -hmm. we, they stuffed the demons back and sealed it up, but that's not going to last forever. Can you guys tell me a little bit about how soon into the new season are we in mortal danger again? I mean, like... Two minutes. <laughs> <seconds again. laughs> like, yeah. yeah, pretty much ten seconds then. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> last season we played with the conceit that the threat to midnight was lurking under the streets, and this season the threat is amongst the midnighters, so okay. it's kind of ferreting out uh, who that threat is and what the end game it's is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Josh Kelly's character, Walker Chisholm, who is, and there's no way to say this, he's a gay demon hunter, but he does not hunt gay demons. He Correct. is gay. He is a yes. gay he is cowboy a demon. demon Okay, hunter. there we go. Yes. yes. There we go. And he doesn't but necessarily way, hunt cowboys either. Unreal, which we both worked on. Yes. 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 So it's all in the family. We had Brita last season yes. from Unreal, so it's a fun crossover. I need some webisodes of like some like bachelor type psych <laughs> midnight show. Oh yeah. my god, that would be funny. Walker has some attraction to Joe, I'm hearing. How is Chewie feeling about that? Chewie doesn't know no damn thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why he likes it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, is this a thing? Is it kind of like, no. does Joe pick up on that or, like right away? No, I think, you know, Joe's going through his own thing. He was hiding in Midnight Forever and mm -hmm. hiding from Brita's character uh, forever. And I think it's kind of indicative of any of us that suppress a fundamental part of ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's going to come bubbling out. And okay. so I'm bubbling. Are there any lasting effects from the vampire blood that Lem gave Olivia at the end of last season? I don't want to be a vampire. I know <laughs> what you're asking. <laughs> so Love Lexi. I did it. Right, right. No offense. <laughs> Love Lem. <Yeah. laughs> to be honest, I think that there is a lot more that Olivia and Lim are going through than just the are there effects on on the fan sucking his blood. So season two, uh, Olivia and Lim have a psychic connection. 
literally. So <gasps> it um, quickly goes from like every woman's dream to like <laughs> back the <laughs> so there's a lot of that, you know. Okay. That we had, there's there's a nice little like song and dance we have to work out. And maybe they're thinking of uh, expanding the family, aren't they? <laughs> a threesome. <Yeah. laughs> How is Lem dealing with the psychic connection? Lem is busy shaking his head and wondering what the hell he got himself into. Awesome. <laughs> like <laughs> every day. Exactly, I love that. So it's like not just like, oh honey, you're like leaving wet towels on the floor. It's like you're literally encroaching on my psyche. It's look. I mean, you want to take this one since you know my thoughts? <laughs> well, I'm aware we, I can't say everything you're thinking. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you know, um, what do you do if you can literally hear someone's thoughts? You and feel away. their feelings. <laughs> oh, and feel their feelings, too. And so it's a little bit more complicated than just sort of connected because emotionally you're going to react to the things they react to. My, like, not-so-smooth segue was, like, speaking of connecting over on the end here, Woo! that was, like, hot central that just built to insanity at the end of last season between Fiji and Bobo. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I watch TV. I know that when couples are that good, there's always stuff that's coming up for them. I'm very worried for you two. Please put my mind at ease if you can. Well, the beginning of season uh, two, they're kind of like 21-year-olds again when you first fall in love. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very amorous. Uh, they're doing. They're doing things. They're doing things that Sting the singer would look at and go, "Hmm, <laughs> haven't tried that one before." So wow. I'll leave it at that. Oh, um, he but threw yeah. A sting in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> Not throw stick in the mix. Uh, but yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but of course, couples that are happy on TV can't stay happy for too long. So definitely, something could be happening to them down the road. Yeah. This kind of scary and uh, lovely and heart wrenching. Heart wrenching. Yeah. 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 No, Sweet, I say cute. Like yeah. yeah. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. And surprising. I mean, that was the thing. You know, I thought, okay, well, this this can't possibly work out. Like something's gonna happen. Nothing that is happening is anything I would have expected. Yeah. yeah. Like I was like, what? 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 <gasps> oh my god. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm always like, when's Bobo gonna get to fight? And Jason's like, he's a lover this season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy the love. Is he? I'm like I want to fight. He's got man. Energy. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's nothing left in him to fight. Welcome to season yes, two. Yeah. Yeah. I hate to end this on a down note, but where's Mr. Snuggly? Why does he not come to Comic-Con? We does hired my cat instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm still what? fighting for her. Why would you want him here? I feel like he's he has all get along, but he may be like the outlier. Is Who he, gets along? Does he, like, does he have his own trailer and he like slams the door and smokes cigarettes in there? In between <laughs> breaks? He, he shows up at all. He's the biggest diva. He's so rude. Do you see him on Twitter? He, he won't leave me alone. He's, he trolls me constantly. He does. He on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> What is the cat version of bitch? Yeah. Like, I know that's the theme, like, dog, thing, but, like, he's, I think it's he's a cat. <laughs> I think it's just wow. cat. I'm a dog person. Um, I can't keep that up, can I, you? There's no way I can wrap this in a, in a concise way. So thank you guys so much thank for coming. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.